the next step I'm going to ask you, so I'm just going to pepper out some of these questions. You need to kind of think about it. If you have the wholesale bundle system, go back to the first framework, first step of the framework, and really think about this after we talk. So ask yourself about your own culture. Did you grow up in a specific religion, a specific uh, nationality, a, a specific ethnicity? Um, do you use products that other people don't use? Do you, has anyone ever said, oh, where did you get that? How did you make that? Where did that come from? I've never seen that before. That is an indication for, to you that what you're doing, saying, cooking, whatever, is not common among everyone, right? So look around and look at those things. Look at those things up on Amazon. See what their velocity is. First of all, is it even there? If it's there, great. What's the price? Are people buying it? What kind of, are, is it a multi-pack? Is it in a bundle somewhere? Like, look some things up. Um, the, so that's those types of stuff, like products that you use. For example, the deodorant that I've used for years is now available at Target. It used to be online only. You could only show, buy from their website. And now they have expanded their products and now they have them in Target. But you can still buy on their website for cheaper than Target. Buy like $3 cheaper. <laughs> so I still buy from there. Mm. But it's one of those things to think of. To think of things like that. Is there something you can only buy online that maybe could be part of a gift set, a gift pack, a brand, um, organic? Do you know anybody that makes anything? Do you make anything? What are the supplies that you make? Like I do jewelry art, right? So when I do my jewelry art, I have tons of different tools and products that I use on a regular basis as a jewelry artist. Um, that isn't really a ton of common household stuff. Some of it is, but like I use specific things. So could you put together a kit of like beginning jewelry art kit or, you know, whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know what I call it, but you know, those are, those are some of the ideas. What do you do with your time? Everybody has leisure time and everybody spends leisure time doing something. Okay. So you play with your grandkids. I don't do anything. I just play with my grandkids. Well, you do something with your grandkids. What do you do? Crafts? Play outside? Do you play tag? Do you play yard games? Do you go on nature walks? Do you sit and read to them? Like there are products involved in all those things. Um, special um, things with special needs. Like I have uh, type one diabetes. Uh, there's people that are on the autism spectrum that have certain things that help them, uh, products, sensory issues. Um, my father passed away of cancer, different products for cancer patients, the products for uh, breast cancer patients or people recovering from surgery or people that have specific illnesses or specific jobs. Are you a nurse? Are you a doctor? Were you an accountant? Did you work in science? Did you when one somebody I knew was a pool guy? Like, um, are you a plumber? Are you a teacher? Products, products, products. What are the problems that you face in there? If you were once upon a time a nurse or a teacher or a something that you aren't anymore, what were the issues you had in those professions? Modern technology can't solve everything, but pro there's certain products that can make life a lot easier. 